All right, welcome to the Intuitive Empress channel. I'm Intuitive Empress. Thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today. This is a general message for my Libras, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. In other words, while you're feasting, on this meal on today, don't forget, eat the meat and don't choke on the bones. All right? So, don't force anything to fit. If it's not your story, then leave it where it is. You'll cause more damage to yourself trying to take things on that is not for you. All right? If you are a cross watcher, and to those who are of the sign and you're not a cross watcher remember that energy and time is fluid so when you see this message it is when you were meant to have it okay all right and you can flip the energies okay according to your story don't forget to hit the subscribe button the like button comment share your story down below, you never know who you might help. All right. It helps me keep in tap with you by the power of the Most High God to your energy. All right. Please do remember as a general message, all parts may not resonate with you. I will be picking up on other people's energy in order to have your individual energy focused on and honed down on where all the messages are for you. You would need to get a personal read. That information is in the description, all right? Um, if you would like a face-to-face -face, um, session, please reach out to me by text or by email, and we can arrange a time, all right? I do believe in the power of the Holy Spirit on this channel, the blood of Jesus, all right? And God the Father, all right? This is from my personal experiences and walk. In the spiritual realm, I do respect what you believe in. So please do respect my personal beliefs as well. All right. And those that are on the channel in the comment section, please let it be respectful, respectful, respectful. I would like to send out a special acknowledgement to my subscribers. I appreciate your love and support and sticking in there with me. Some of you have been there with me from day one. Um, others of you are new, but I still appreciate you all. All right. So if you would like to become a member, hit the join button where you would get exclusive content. All right. Videos and lives. And please check out my Etsy shop where I have some things for you. Things for cleansing, things for healing. All right. Things for manifestation. Just check out what we have if you need. The cleansing bath bags, I had to take them off of Etsy because of their new policies, but I do still have them and can um, make arrangements to have them sent out to you. All right. All right. So here we go. We're going to start out with the love portion. What's going on in the area of love for my Libras? Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Because let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. All right. And let's see what we have here. In general, what's going on in life for my Libras right now. Mm. So we have a family dynamic. This is your household we do have a um, coffin here. So we have 21 and 19. So you could be 21, you could be 19, or you could be seeing 21, 19, or 21 and 19 could be significant for you. Um, we have the ending of a situation. Um, some of you may have even experienced a loss. So my condolences and my prayers in that situation because loss is hard. Uh, whether it is a divorce, whether it is someone leaving this earthly plane and going on to be full-time in the spiritual realm. 
Um, loss is hard, so my prayers and my condolences to you. Uh, this will affect your household. This is someone in your home with the family room. Or it could be a family member that doesn't necessarily live with you. Okay, so someone has been doing some credit repair to get out of debt. Okay. Um, for this person, it is working. You are paying down your debts or you have paid your debts off or you will soon start this in your life. Or maybe you need to do some credit repair, pay some things down. Um, maybe um, the ending is that you need to move from where you are or you have a desire to have a home, a single home, a home for your, your family and your children. And in order to do that, you need to work on your credit and repair your credit. Okay. That's the general energy going on within this community of Libras. All right, so let's get some Torell on top of this. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God, and Father God, what messages do we have for our Libras? All right. Hmm. We have somebody that um, is working with you, teaming up with you, helping you repair your credit, maybe a credit specialist. Um, working with this person will avoid a tower in your life financially. All right. So you are doing find yourself out in the cold. Um, not having anywhere to go. If you follow these instructions um, of working with this person um, or this group of credit counselors, um, I see blessings coming for you. Peace. Having the peace of knowing that your bills are paid or that your home is yours. Right? Okay, that card flew way over there. What else do we have? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, we have cards flying all over the place, flipping over and stuff. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands. Something was very um, hard and burdensome for you. It could have been um, a relationship. It could have been a friend thing. It could have been your finances. It could have been things that may have been going on in the home that you want to move from. All right. But I do see you moving on the comma waters. It just takes a little bit of patience. For some of you, you went through a heavy trial, a heavy season that you had to call on your strength with the strength card. With the eight of swords card, we have um, that at one point you felt like you were trapped, that you would never get up from under this debt or from this situation. Um, but you were blind to the fact that you could just walk out of it, that there was a way. All right. Oh, okay. Now these cards are jumping back at me. That's interesting. One second. I got to get these cards up. That smacked me in the chest. <laughs> All right. So we're going to organize these cards out for you to give you this message okay Whew. so we have the queen of cups someone is coming in with a lot of love or you have a lot of love um here this is um pisces energy so you could be dealing with the pisces or have pisces in your chart um i do see that you um, maybe married or you're going to a celebration where you might meet um, a king of wands. This king of wands might be the one that's helping you. Okay. Um, someone that takes action, someone that takes risks, um, but they're calculated risks. Okay. 
Um, this is mature fire energy. So you can have a fire energy coming into your life or you can have water energy coming into your life or you can have fire in your life. You can have a shrewd mind um, take and take action. OK. Um, and I do see you getting a victory with the six of wands because of your hard work. OK, but someone is coming in to help you. Don't be too prideful to take the help. On the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups. So we have someone who matches your energy, the King and Queen of Cups. All right, this could be your partner in life, whereas this person could be your partner in business. Or vice versa, take it as a resonance. Okay? So that's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, um, Sagittarius, and Leo. All right, clearing the deck. All right, so I see what's going on. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. All right. So we have somebody that may be stalking you obsessively. Um, interested, uh, fatal attraction, someone who's consumed with you, this player, player energy. So again, for some of you, you had someone in your life that was not there like they were supposed to be. All right. This could be somebody that you friend zoned or they friend zoned you and they breadcrumbed you, provided little effort. Uh, they thought they were going to come back and forth and back and forth. All right. Um, this could have been somebody you had an instant spark with, a soul recognition, or this could be the new person coming into your life. All right. We had somebody who uh, deserted you, abandoned you, or um, was unreliable. This could not necessarily be in love because remember, we're looking at everything work for love and life. This could be a business partner that deserted you, that breadcrumbed you. Um, providing little effort in building the business that you have. This could have been a friend that did this. This could be a lover that did this. Um, you, this player player could easily be a scammer, um, somebody that, um, you know, used you to get to the top, all right? You were impressed by their business acumen and the spark that they had, the fire and the passion that they had, and they didn't live up to the expectations. They flaked out. They um, left you hanging. They could have left you hanging with a whole bunch of debt and bills. The debt came in. All right. Um, but this person is still pulling on your energy. So you have to cleanse your energy no matter what the situation is. Um, again, I have bath bags that'll help. Um, you can get um, some oil and pray through your house, pray through your business, sage, whatever. Okay. Um, this was a side hustle for extra income. I do believe that this is something that you um, was using to eventually become self-employed. Okay. Hmm. You are manifesting great things because you kept things, um, you know, together. Um, you didn't go out after that person becoming a hothead. You weren't that. All right. Um, somebody that you dealt with could have been a hothead. This could have been somebody that you were um, married to until their suspicious behavior and them being in and out of your life because they were tendering. Okay. Meanwhile, they were sugarcoating, filtering what they were saying so you would not um suspect anything this is the same thing too with business you can have somebody who wanted you to be tied in um and everything like that they were getting mad because they weren't getting what they wanted um they wanted to you know lock you down um on a commitment or a contract 
with the suspicious behavior and how flighty this person ended up being caused you to suspect. This person thought that you were their doormat, all right? They thought you were naive. They thought they could take advantage of you, all right? And then this person started doing extra when they realized they couldn't. Um, you could be a feminine energy or a male energy with someone that has a lot of machismo, um, masculine pride, toxic masculinity. Hmm. Wow. And remember, this is a general message. I will... Um, do periodically love readings that will be specifically for that but because this is about your overall energy and what's going on i tap into all of that energy um so whatever partnership you had business work love or life um is over you're in separation you left it behind all right um this person would rather netflix and chill with you if it's a romantic situation instead of you know, courting you, whining and dining you. Um, you know, times are tough. So you can have a combination of both, but this is someone who would never go out of their way to romance you, okay? This person wanted you to be a sheep, to lack op options, to be easily influenced and a follower. This could be this person's energy or this is the energy that they wanted you to be in so you could be easily manipulated so they could get what they want whether it is um, passion, um, a passionate night, whether it is money, a place to stay, whatever it was that they wanted to get. And they wanted you to be pliable to that. Wow. All right, we wanna wrap this up because this is pretty much the message. All right. All right. So we're getting the final messages and some signs um, in here. I'm going to do it all at once. Instead of separating it out, what final messages do we have? Final messages. All right, and we're going to do the signs. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Wow, this is heavy. This is, see it already. What signs do we have for my Libras? Signs for my Libras. All right. We have Scorpio at the bottom of the deck, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could have Scorpio heavily aspected in your chart. All right, so let's get this together. All right, so we have here, I can get this up. I hate when that happens. All right, so we have an energy vampire. This is somebody that you need to take your energy back from, okay? We have the incubus and syncubus spirit. So we have um, a spirit that may attack you in the nighttime, um, a very sensual um, being. Um, trying to say this in YouTube approved language, um, a spirit that will fondle you and do different things to you um, in the nighttime, okay? to harvest your energy, all right? Um, this is the spirit that will provide sleep paralysis so you may get up and not be able to move your body um, for a short amount of time, okay? In that situation, you will rebuke 
that spirit, bind it and cast it out, okay? Um, so the obstacles are being removed. The crooked places are being moved straight by the most high. This is why it is important to cleanse your energy, okay? Um, when you have any type of relationship that, that you break up with, just to cut ties and cleanse your way, but especially when it's something like this going on, all right? It says you are going higher in the most high God. Your gifts are being strengthened. You could be of Jamaican descent. You can like Jamaican food, the Jamaican culture. You may have um, gone to the island and enjoyed it, all right? And we do have the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? And the answer is no one. When you have God on your side, you don't have to fear. Okay? It says the most high loves judgment and does not forsake his children. They are pre preserved forever, but the children of the wicked are cut off. That is Psalms 37 and 27. For those of you who say, oh, God is a loving God and he wouldn't do certain things, he passes out judgment. Okay, he really does. And that judgment is not sweet or pretty. Okay, it says they thought you were stupid or naive. That came up again. Confirmation. All right. Um, this could have been a companion or a partner, or you could have someone coming in as a companion or a partner, that business partner that we were talking about earlier. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog. So check those years out. We have a cancer. So this person could be a cancer. The person in your past could be a cancer. The person that thought you were naive was a cancer. We have Capricorn. All right. And we have, for some of you, this is a family connection. This is a, it could be a past romantic connection or a family member from your past that you don't deal with. It could be either this Capricorn or this cancer energy. All right. Yeah, so definitely clear, cleanse your energy. Um, as I stated before, I do have items that will help with that. Um, you can reach out to me for that, for um, the bath bags. If it's crystals and the healing crystals and the protection crystals um, and the cleansing crystals, um, that is on my Etsy shop. So please check that out. All right. I do thank you for joining me. If you made it this far, don't forget to like this video comment in the comment section subscribe if you're not a subscriber hit that bell notification so you know when the next video is available all right and share it out thank you so much bye, -bye.